I have learned a lot over the last four weeks. Stuff I wish I would never know. A phone call I wish I'd never had to answer. A call from Lindsay and a call from a sheriff. Jordan lost in the Snake River. It was the worst of all news. I was crushed by waves of grief and disbelief. No, not my son. No, not my son. And believe me, underneath this composed facade, anger, sadness, rage, and every other emotion you can imagine emerged. I was there for his birth. I rocked him to sleep. I changed his diapers. I fed him. I watched him take his first steps. I taught him to ride a bike. We used to play catch in the cul-de-sac. I was there for every soccer practice and game that I could be at talk about scary I even taught him to drive that weekend before the 4th of July I barbecued steaks for he and his sister Lindsay and Jordan got tattoos with Lindsay that weekend and yet in an instant each one of our paths was forever altered when we lost Jordan and each will go another way without Jordan along for the ride he'll miss going for walks at St. Edwards Park He'll miss strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and huckleberries. He'll miss plums and garbanzo beans as in, and his incredible Inara. He'll miss having kids, having to work for the rest of his life, trying to make sense of this crazy world. But he won't be winning any more Twinkie eating contests or losing any more bets. He won't have to renew his license plates, pay car insurance, have car payments, pay credit card bills, electric bills, old age and cancer and medical bills and all of the crap that life deals us over time. He'll be forever young. That kid who loved to sleep, loved cartoons, Top Gun, Star Wars, Ninja Turtles, Transformers, and Jackie Chan movies is now gone. He was a Boy Scout, an athlete, played and loved soccer. He loved snowboarding and lifting weights. He loved his dog Cinnamon and all animals. And rumor has it that he was not that great at beer pong and introduced his dad to Jaeger bombs. Jordan had freedom. He questioned everything, tested himself, partied like all his age, experimented, and lived life on his own terms. He had joy. From what I know of Jordan and memories many of you have shared with me, he had all that in his life. Most of us older folks remember our early 20s is the best times of our lives and like Jordan we thought we could do anything we were invincible but either of these two items could have saved Jordan's life a rope and a life ring or a personal flotation device you all have to promise me say I promise that you will never swim in a river or a creek without one and believe me, I will hunt you down like a dog if I ever found out that you didn't take this advice. And I'd bring Cousin Al with me. Yeah, right there, Big Al. Yep. Jordan was a good kid and a loving son and a blossoming young man. And that's how I will remember him and love him. Thank you all for coming. Really, thank you very, very much.